What's going on YouTube? I'm a V King here with another awesome video update for you. So, I know a lot of you have been waiting to see my coils. Scratch that. Been waiting to see my sacred geometric setup pattern with my coils for the uh, flywheel generator that should create a polyphase, hopefully, cross fingers, over unity, or more energy output and energy input generator. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but the sacred geometry that I have tapped into has enabled me to build infinite, infinite designs, generators, these flywheels, these uh, coils that I have posted many videos about, and they have helped me understand just how significant the patterns of Mother Nature truly are. So if you don't understand the power of sacred geometry, I highly recommend doing some research on that. Then I highly recommend doing some research on Nikola Tesla's discoveries of 3, 6, and 9. How he could have, how he came up with three phase how it is possible to step up efficiency beyond three phase. Okay. So I'm about to show you exactly what I mean. Before I do that, I just want to ask you, please like this video if you are liking all my videos so far and you want to see me keep going because this next part is going to be fucking awesome. It's so awesome. I can't. It really does show some significant proof that free energy is possible. Uh, the only thing I'll have to do is time it out. Anyways, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'm going to show you something really cool. I promise you. If you think this is really cool, hit that subscribe button. I'm not even trying to brag. Okay, I'm, I'm bragging. I came up with this. I discovered this, so I'm going to brag about it. It's pretty cool. So here we go. Alright, so as you can see, I have four coils made so far. One, two, three, four. But they are not arranged in the same pattern most of you would expect. Each coil is going clockwise and counterclockwise, hopping five spaces on my lotus coil. So it goes from right here, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Opposite direction, one, two, three, four, five, and then the. Next coil starts right here. And then it goes one, two, three, four, five. And then right here, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And I can fit 14 more coils on this main lotus coil. So as of right now, I have my leads hooked up to my coils. I'll show you my ohm resistance here. And as you can see, it's actually supposed to be giving me 78, but maybe it's just my connection. Anyways. Now, why did I make these coils without any uh, magnetic metal inside? I'm using air core coils because I feel like they resonate a lot easier and uh, permeable metals are just not good for this kind of project because you get that Faraday effect, the cognitive problems, so on and so forth. So... Um, this is just four coils. Like I said, I can fit 18 coils on here. Now the motor that I am using under here is a... I don't know if I can really show it that easy. Let me... There it is. You see that? It's a high RPM... It's a high RPM, low voltage induction motor. That is high efficiency. Now, let me make this perfectly clear. There is no other generator design in history like this, right? So when I start creating a perfect frequency and voltage and amperage, um, and if you want, you can look up this specific voltmeter on the internet. It is a $129 voltmeter, so I got my leads hooked up here. I am going to take, oh, oh gosh, I really shouldn't have done that. Okay, so now I'm going to take this 
I'm going to take this 1.2 volt 2300 you just seen it, 2300 milliamp hour AA battery, and my phone is about to die, so I'm going to try to make this a bit quicker here. Okay, so now watch what happens when I connect this rechargeable battery to my system, without dropping the battery, of course. Okay, positive. Okay. So this will be just an update video, give you an idea of what exactly... I'm going to show you exactly what I mean here. Okay. Each coil has 900 turns. Okay. Now I'll take the battery off. So you see that? 5.6 volts right there. Let me show you the amperage it draws at the given frequency. So this is set on my amps right now. And I can feel a little bit of cognitive function to it, but it doesn't seem to be heating up my battery. It seems to be getting faster. Okay, so should be at about one amp so that's about seven watts right there if my voltmeter is on point okay frequency i am producing four times the standard power grids worth of frequency Four times, meaning my efficiency and frequency is four times higher mathematically. Right? So, there's that. I think this right here should be more than enough proof. Bill Reunity exists. I do not have the battery hooked up. It is still pulling a lot of amps. So that is a good thing. Now, what I'm going to do next is sh show you what happens when I hook up 14 more coils. So my phone's about to die, guys. Please be sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and tag anybody that is questioning this sacred art of energy design. All right, peace out, guys. I'm a V-King. Out.